Greetings once again, Tommy Underhill, the adult ADHD and autism coach at Littleton Couples Counseling. And today, I'd like to talk to you about how autism thinks. I have adult autism. I probably think differently than you do. Sometimes my partner asks me what it means when I say, I love you. I don't know if I have the words to express this concept outside of my head. In fact, I often struggle to translate my thoughts into human language. I call what goes into inside, on inside my head the music of the hemispheres. At best, I can offer a rough translation into English from what goes on and bounces around inside my noggin. Temple Grandin concurs that folks with adult autism often think in a different manner than other people. From my understanding, the typical neurotypical person thinks verbally. Their thought process about going to the closet to get a box is quite literally go to the closet and get a box. In the early Wild West days of autism, Researchers believe folks with autism thought in a combined visual and mathematical model. Now it is understood that visual and mathematical thought models and processes are usually two separate ways of thinking. From my own experience, I would add three-dimensional spiderweb thinking as a superset of visual thinking. I'm a combined spiderweb visual and mathematical thinker. I struggle when writing because I will often translate images and mathematics into language using lines and parentheses to organize thoughts. When I play cards, I usually don't name the cards as I play them. I use symbolic references and mathematical representations. I can read backwards and upside down because the words make transformative shapes and patterns. To help illustrate autistic thought models, I would like to reference a number of popular movies and TV shows. Extraordinary Attorney Wu and The Good Doctor portray visual thinking. Wu Young Wu's memory of legal documents is depicted as mentally flipping through a stack of papers. When Sean Murphy encounters a medical situation, the series presents his visualization of the anatomical structures and functions as his mind moves through the patient's body. In Sherlock, Benedict Cumberbatch's replay, portrayal of Sherlock Holmes often uses a photo and yarn metaphor to illustrate spiderweb thinking. Lengths of yarn are pinned between photos, map places, and items to demonstrate the multiple complex three-dimensional linkages between them. Numbers shows mathematical thinking as Charlie Epps assists his FBI agent brother in solving crimes. When I travel from one location to another, I envision a mental map and a path of the route. In my head, I see road conditions, construction sites, possible traffic or weather issues, and will visually reroute as needed. My previous mother-in-law needed a turn-by-turn -turn list of written directions to get anywhere new. Neither of us could understand how the other arrived anywhere. When I see a car drive down the road, I can envision the pistons moving up and down in the cylinders as fuel and air are mixed and injected into the engine. Everyone else around me just sees a car go by. Not only does each of these thought models have its own strengths and limitations, none of them directly translate into another. And even two people with adult autism who think in the same paradigm will not utilize it in the same way. After all, if you've met one person with autism, you've met one person with autism. If this sounds like you or someone you know, and you'd like to expand on your capabilities, give us a call. Our adult autism coaching looks to build communication bridges between the various thought models and neurotypical people they interact with. If this video has struck a chord with you in a positive way, give us a like. And we'd like to hear from you if you need help, assistance, or just have some thoughts. Visit our website for new blogs, and from there, as always, we'll see you next time.